This defiant came out of a crawl space in Virginia where it had sat for 30 years and it was donated to us to be restored as a childhood original. But I'm trying to assess everything that we have and don't have. And I know they say don't mess with the doors, but there was no way I was going to be able to do this without those doors coming off. And there is, you know, one small crack in, in one of the doors. I don't want that to get worse, so I'm glad it's off the, off the handle right now. It's off the superstructure. Yep, there's a crack right there. I'm gonna have to address that before I put it back together. You know, it's funny, you know, pulling these things apart, it's, uh, it's nerve wracking and, and, you know, all advice goes against it, but when you wanna do a proper tear down and restoration of something, you've kind of got to go the distance with it, especially one that's been in this condition for so long, because, you know, you want to bring it back to uh, something close to a miracle, um, especially given that this is a childhood original, and so I'm, I'm really doing my best to figure out exactly how this whole toy worked, and that involves taking some risks, knowing that the intent is to make it as good, if not better, than it was the day it was built. Um, sometimes it's about preservation, and sometimes it's about understanding what you're working with. And understanding what you're working with takes some, you know, takes some risk. It takes some well, let's take a stiff drink and dive into this and damn the torpedoes full speed ahead kind of thing. Um, you know, right now I'm just trying to get all the pieces apart so that I can inventory them and figure out, like I said, what I have to work with and what I don't. And, you know, some people would say, well, you're putting some of the parts at risk that you have to work with. Well, that's true, I am. But, uh... I have to understand how the whole thing goes together before I can effectively repair it. Now, I'm not suggesting everybody do this or even do it with every example, but I like to take things right back down to the base parts. Uh, I, I want to see what came out of that box uh, back in, in this case, 1987, and then I want to start over uh, from the ground up. You know, sometimes, you know, like what happened with with a thunder tank uh, a few months ago. I couldn't figure out how those arms, uh, or, or why those arms weren't working. And I was like, well, the only way I'm gonna really solve this is to take the whole stupid thing apart. And, you know, in doing so, um, when I put it back together, textbook, everything worked. I'll never know why it wasn't working uh, when it was together originally. But, in hindsight, it very easily could have been that while trying to jury-rig it to work with all those parts under tension and everything together, I could have cracked or broken more stuff. Getting parts out of the way, like these doors, is never a bad thing if you can do it safely. And this is just a miracle that any of this has survived after being in a crawl space for this long. There's going to be a lot of a lot of headaches with this already. I can already tell because it is such an involved and desirable toy. I mean, it's rare, it's famous and infamous at the same time. Um, thanking my lucky stars right now that I have these pathetic tiny hands. If I can get this thing apart tonight and really look at it, then I'll know, you know, what what I need to look for in my in my travels on the interwebs.
Oh, come on. Come on, you jerk. Let's do this. The other reason I want to take this thing apart is because it's so expansive that the only effective way to clean it and re-sticker it without ruining other pieces is to take the first set of pieces off. Come on. There you go. There we go. So the doors are disassembled, and now we're looking for the next opportunity. And I don't know this toy well, so that opportunity is going to have to present itself somehow. sound is it well 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 I think I might have found my opportunity Indeedy, I think I found my opportunity. Don't ever lose your screws, no matter what you do. Like I said, you gotta look for those opportunities. And now, we're a lot farther along and more safely along than we would have been otherwise. All right, now what are we looking at? I see some tabs here poking through. Where do they go to? Huh, that just must be a detail in shadow. When in doubt, go real slow. Come on. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, that's all of them. Okay, okay, what are we looking for here? What are we looking for here? That looks way too fixed in there, so instead of risking breaking that, I'm going to leave that alone. The uh, it looked like the uh, it looked like the tabs and slots. It was a one-way trip, and if I tried to pull them out of there, I was gonna I was gonna rip something apart on this uh, gray piece. So don't want to do that. So sometimes you have to, you know, let discretion be the better part of valor. a spring underneath the thing. I mean this thing is like a cuckoo clock coming apart. 
wish I could get this bugger off. Gotta watch out for my, my airplanes. That's the only time you'll see me watching out for a, an enemy aircraft. Just, just so you know. Yeah, I see a broken gear system in here. Not that that's surprising. This thing never could hold up under its own weight. One thing you have to remember when you're doing these things is to not be afraid that when you're doing something like this to something that's not a pristine, preserved piece, you have to have the confidence to know that no matter what happens, you're gonna, you're gonna leave it better than how you found it, and you're gonna make it better than how you found it. Hello? I sent you messages. Okay, I'll come up for my Pop-Tart now. Did you see my messages though? No, what'd they say? Remember that rule too, always stop for Pop-Tarts. <laughs>